years ago when my boys were little, I would make crackers sometimes, but it just kind of turned out to be not really worth my time. But I want to give sourdough crackers a go again. Kind of a simpler recipe. And I value my time. Like yes, nutrition is important. But like sometimes if it takes you an hour to make five dollars worth of crackers, it's like. But it took me less than five minutes to mix up the dough last night. It took me less than 10 minutes to do two big trays. So we're gonna bake them. We're gonna see if they pass the Marius test because I'm pretty sure the kids will like them either way. But do they pass the Marius with cheese and crackers test? And like, will they keep for a week? In a week, are they still good with cheese and crackers? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, uh, you know so, we won't eat them with cheese. I know you won't eat them with cheese. Anyways, we gotta get going on schoolwork. I got you. And um, it's laundry day, but there's also kind of some overflow kitchen, kitchen stuff going on. Hey guys, oh, that's not very kind. What do you think of the crackers? Delicious. Sweet. Awesome. They're actually sweet? Or is like sweet as in cool? Yeah, really good. <laughs> so a single batch made about two boxes of crackers worth. And it was only a cup of starter, bit of oil, sweetener, cup of flour. So not much to it. And it made two trays full. So I don't know maybe i'd do a double batch and do two rounds but you wouldn't want to make a massive batch because you'd be stuck by the stove all day that it was piano lessons today so that was a little impromptu thing and now on with the rest of our day I just pulled out meatballs from the freezer am I in focus or not and I throw them in the crock pot um, I have strawberries out that my husband took the tops off this summer they're from a friend's farm and I need to make him jam. So I'm gonna make jam today. And I'm gonna mix up more cracker dough with the sourdough starter. What else is on my list? I need to put new sheets on beds. Gotta bake the bread that's rising. Then I got some laundry stuff to do. I wanna go through kids' coats because we have a whole bunch. We were just given a bunch. But I got thrift store stuff. Kids dumped some totes in the basement so I wanna go through them. Quickly go through our linen closet to get out extra sheets we don't use, and then it's just the normal clean the kitchen, milk the cow. I throw oatmeal to slow cook overnight in the Instant Pot. Dinner is meatballs, twice baked potatoes, and carrots. 
Oh, and I need to grind some more coffee. So, this is what our day looks like. I'm hoping to work on YouTube, but I'm not hopeful that I'm gonna get there today. So, another twist to our day, our organic matters order showed up a day early. So we're just clearing off the table. I'm gonna do a quick video of this because you guys love seeing this haul on what we get. It'll be a separate video though. Here's a little sneak peek for you. And you'll see a better rundown in the haul video and the stuff we shoved to the side. I'm in the That's nutmeg. We can eat these? No. These are the almonds. Right you can eat the coffee cups. That's fine, I'll love it. Um, and coffee, Megan! Yeah. Yeah, I love this sour girl, dude. What are you eating, Freya? It's a grass. Are you right. just eating it straight from the jar, Hamish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm cut. Okay. okay. Also pulled some bread out of the oven. This is um, white with a bit of whole wheat, sourdough, and a whole pile of flax seeds, as you can see. And I throw it in this little wool blanket and it softens the crust and I just love the end result when you do it in a wool blanket. You could do it with a linen or cotton tea towel too, but wool is the best. joys of making sourdough and jam in the same day. Mm. So I was working on slicing the bread because while it takes some upfront work, having it sliced before I freeze loaves, I'll leave one loaf out, freeze two, it makes it so much easier to eat, to grab from the freezer. Children are serving their dinner. What do we have for dinner here? Oh stuff. We have carrots and ranch dip. Twice meat. baked potatoes and, and some meatballs with a kind of sweet and sour sauce. Don't want any that. 
Well, you can try one. And we're eating now. Marius isn't home yet, but it's hunting season. He won't be home till dark. So, we're gonna eat now, and he can eat when he gets home. It's dark at seven, and it's only six right now. Yeah. Oh, kitty cat, you're not supposed to be in here. That's only five. You're hungry. So, it is just about eight o'clock at night. My husband just got home. And he's loading up my horse trailer for me so I can bring the trailer and the Suburban to the mechanic for a couple things. So I'm making him a treat. I'm making him Rice Krispie Squares with peanut butter. There's my jam sitting. His dinner's keeping warm in the Instant Pot. I'm washing dishes. I'm loading the dishwasher. I'm putting away bread still. My kids are in bed. And I think it's time to say goodnight to you guys and have a lovely night.